Hey, it's Maddie at MixingMasterMySong.com. So this is uh, the second video in our Mixing Fundamentals video series. Uh, we're going to be talking about the gain stage part now. Um, we got our session loaded in, as you can see, and we color-coded everything so we know exactly what everything is and where everything is. And we also got it going out to our separate buses so that we know how, um, you know, we have our tracks labeled and I know this is the kick and the snare and I can turn those up and down individually on a, a broader sense than just each track. So now that that's good to go, we want to do the gain staging. Now, why is the gain staging important? Well, if we're already clipping into the red before we've even put a plug in on or turned anything up, it's gonna just make our mix get distorted. And the more we turn things up and put more plugins in, that usually make things louder, the more distorted our mix is gonna get, and it's gonna just turn into a really sloppy, distorted mess, which we don't want. So the thing we got to do is make sure the levels aren't hitting the output bus or our master bus too loud. And so what we'll do is just hit play and see what, the, what what's going on with this song. Not the shit that works for me. Yeah. Every day I get her coffee in the app. So right off the bat, we can tell that we've clipped 49 times in about two seconds. So that's not a good sign. So we'll turn that off. And what I like to do is so. Um, the only thing I don't like about Personas is that it's post, it's set to post fader metering, which means if I have this kick drum and it's playing there, if I turn it down, the, the meter goes down. So it doesn't really tell me what the, what reading it is right now. So I have these VU meters set up on all my buses. So it tells me what the pre, I guess the pre fader metering is, which means it tells me how loud the track actually is. Um, so I'll, I'll look at those to see where I am. Not the shit that works for me. Yeah. Every day I get her coffee in the app. And you can see mostly our kicks just destroying small villages with its uh, with its meter. So I usually just grab all the files and just turn them down like 6 dB. Always seems to be the magic number. And right around six. And then hit play again and check it out. Not the shit that works for me. Yeah, every day I get her coffee in the afternoon. Only time we waking up when it's after two. Last night we got. Now everything's hitting. The, the kicks a little, little yeah. bit. Every day I get her coffee little, in the that's afternoon. That's fine. And only it's time we waking up when it's, it's after two. two. Last night we got stone. And we got plenty of headroom here now. Got a lot of love, and it's just for you. you know, we got room to day work, basically. So, um. Another way to indicate this too is this: I always try to have before I've touched any meter, so that the meter's not the the fader rather, so the fader's not really playing into all this. Just to try to have everything kind of hitting around negative twelve here is is a good indicator as well. Not the shit that works for me. Yeah, every day I get her coffee in the afternoon. Only time or below. So that's basically it. So now we're ready to go. We're ready to mix, and um, we'll start getting some basic levels and talk about the reference mix and how important that is to mixing a song these days in the next video. So check it out.